Trump is short on cash. But then again, hasn't he always been? Jose Paglieri over at the Daily Beast has been doing some great reporting on all of Trump's trials. You should read Jose Paglieri over at the Daily Beast. He's an investigative reporter. He's a great journalist. And he reports that New York law requires Trump. This is really getting delicious. Uh, New York law requires Trump to pony up immediately whatever fine is handed down by Judge Arthur and Gorin in the New York State civil fraud trial. Trump will be required to hand the fine over cash to the state of New York or will be held as he appeals the decisions. The fine could be in the hundreds of millions of dollars. Letitia James is asking for what, 275? Who knows what Judge Angoran is going to come up with? Plus, Donald Trump has to hand over $83.3 million in the E. Jean Carroll judgment. Again, the money won't go directly to E. Jean Carroll. It will be held by the state of New York pending appeal. That's how it works in New York. You get slapped with a $375 million fine. You're free to appeal, but you have to pony up the money. Now, we will hold on to it. And if you lose on appeal, you can have it back. So where, oh, where is Donald Trump going to find several hundred million dollars? Jose Paglieri at the Daily Beast reports that Trump testified in his deposition that he gave before the New York State Attorney General in the civil fraud trial, which he has already lost. He testified in his deposition that he had $400 million in cash. Jose Paglieri expressed incredulity about that number, kind of hinted, I don't think he's got $400 million. You know, most people agree the guy found guilty of inflating his assets also lied about his liquidity. Pagliari over at the Daily Beast said that if you add up $83.3 million for E. Jean Carroll and at the very least $375 million in civil penalties for the fraud, that exceeds his imaginary $400 million. Pagliari says Trump most likely will try to put up a bond. But having just been found guilty of inflating his assets to secure favorable loans is going to make Donald Trump a pretty bad candidate for a favorable interest rate on those bonds. Jose Paglieri over at the Daily Beast estimates that if Angoran, Judge Angoran, finds Trump $370 million, New York state law demands that Trump be forced to pay 9% interest on that fine, dating all the way back to when the New York state attorney general first began her investigation four years ago, and it's compounded interest. Okay, so Jose Pagliari over at the Daily Beast says Trump gets fined $370 million by Judge Angoran, and that's lowballing. That's just what Letitia James wants, 370, 375. With Weisselberg possibly being guilty of perjury, who knows what Angoran is going to tack on. So, but let's say $370 million. Uh, Because of New York state law saying 9% interest on the fine going back to when the investigation first began, what does that come to? Well, Paglieri says with the compound interest, four years of 9%, it comes on a $370 million judgment. It would come to somewhere in the neighborhood of, you know, $550, $560 million. 
It's $370 million, that's the fine, supposedly, plus four years at 9% compounded interest. Ain't life grand? Isn't that great? Which means Donald Trump, even if he does have $400 million, he's got to borrow close to $600 million just to pony up the fine while he waits for appeal. And he's going to have to get a bond at a bad interest rate. He's a risk. So that means even more interest payments on the interest payments. And here is the $30 million question. What does he have as collateral? Mar-a-Lago. It's worth $30 million tops. Now, I get a lot of angry letters from Trump supporters who say I'm stupid. They call me stupid for not understanding that Mar-a-Lago is worth half a billion dollars. Trump supporters, they, they, they know all about Palm Beach real estate, and they say it's worth half a billion dollars. It is worth $30 million tops. Now, Trump says he can get half a billion dollars. He also said he didn't rape E. Jean Carroll. Now, I want you Trump supporters to think. Now, that's called thinking is when you use your the brain, the, the, the cheese between your ears. I want you to try to think, Trump supporters, okay? Knowing that Trump has declared bankruptcy at least six times, that's a fact, and that he's known for paying his creditors back pennies on the dollar, would you loan him money using Mar-a-Lago as collateral? If he came to you and said, lend me some money, lend me hundreds of million, millions of dollars, I'll, I'll put up Mar-a-Lago as collateral. Do you honestly believe a bank or any lender is prepared to take Mar-a-Lago in lieu of payment? Like he defaults on the loan and we'll take Mar-a-Lago. Do you honestly believe that any lender would take Mar-a-Lago as collateral? Uh, now, you want to believe that Donald Trump is correct when he says Mar-a-Lago is worth $500 billion. Uh, you're stupid. I, I, there's no other way to explain this to Trump supporters. You're illiterate You're and willfully ignorant. I want you to activate the cheese between your ears and, and try to spark some thinking. That, that Those two neurons you have between your ears. Do you honestly believe that Palm Beach, Florida, would ever allow Mar-a-Lago to be subdivided and turned into a housing development so that Trump or the person he sold Mar-a-Lago to could cash out with half a billion dollars, okay? Trump's surrogates and Donald Trump himself claim that he could tear down Mar-a-Lago and build a couple of McMansions and he'd pocket half a billion dollars. Do you have any idea how many tax breaks Trump has gotten over the years from Palm Beach because Mar-a-Lago is listed as an historic preservation site, okay? It's like he bought Grant's tomb in, in New York City. And you could say, well, it's a prime piece of real estate. It, it overlooks the, <laughs> the Hudson. People would pay a billion dollars for Grant's tomb. It's got... You know, Grant's body, Ulysses S. Grant's body is there, and we can, you know, we can subdivide and build a skyscraper. It's worth a billion dollars. There's only one little problem. You're not allowed to build on Grant's tomb. It's an historic preservation site, the same way Mar-a-Lago is an historic preservation site, you effing idiots. Do you know how stupid you are? 
You're so, it is unbelievable how ignorant Trump supporters are. And they buy Donald Trump's horseshit. You cannot subdivide Mar-a-Lago. But don't ask me. Ask the billionaires, the real billionaires, who live in Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, they're pretty strict about protecting the shoreline, especially since the value of the surrounding properties would plummet if Mar-a-Lago somehow ever got subdivided. There are actual billionaires who live around Mar-a-Lago. They don't want Mar-a-Lago subdivided and turned into McMansions. They don't, they don't want to look at that, and their investment in their home would be worthless because of these ugly McMansions that Eric Trump, who pours concrete, would develop. Not going to happen in Palm Beach. There are people in Palm Beach who actually have money, and they would never allow Mar-a-Lago to be torn down. The same way you can't tear down Teddy Roosevelt's Oyster Bay birthplace or his home. He was born in New York, but, you know, Hyde Park, Franklin Roosevelt's mansion in Hyde Park. You can't buy it and subdivide. Yes, in another world, Franklin Roosevelt's home in Hyde Park would be worth $3 billion if you could subdivide it. It's beautiful. You should go visit. Harvey J.K. speaks there all the time. Overlooks the Hudson. You can't subdivide Mar-a-Lago the same way you can't subdivide Hyde Park. God, there are some really stupid people, uh, and they're all voting for Donald Trump. Just pure ignorance, pure ignorance. So the $30 million question, how much is Mar-a-Lago worth? $30 million, and we know that because Trump signed the tax documents saying he knows it's worth $30 million. And who even knows how much of Mar-a-Lago he owns? A lot of people, it's a club. And there are members who pay a lot of money for lifetime memberships. So they're part owners of Mar-a-Lago. He doesn't own Mar-a-Lago, first of all. He barely owns it. He barely owns anything. So he cannot borrow against Mar-a-Lado, Mar-a-Lardo, Mar no, he's Mar-a-Lado, Lardo, he's Lardo, Mar-a-Lago. He can't borrow against it because no lender would take it as collateral, as collateral because they know they could never get more than $30 million for Mar-a-Lago if they're lucky. I'm sorry, if you believe Mar-a-Lago is worth more than $30 million, you're ignorant. You're ignorant. Just because Trump says it's worth half a billion dollars doesn't make it worth half a billion dollars. It's time right now for the David Feldman Show. So get